I have two incomplete notebooks here of the mystery of God the container. This one I already went over in a previous video, and this one I was going to include more scriptures. Now, I'm actually going to not work on these two books anymore, but I'm heading back to church, alright? Because before I begin reading this and showing you the pages, I'd like to say, I understand that there's Christians that are asleep in Christ, but in Christ, and those that are awake in Christ, those that have learned the basic elementary teachings, and those who have moved forward onto the advanced teachings of Christ. So, I understand if there's wrestling, some of you see this mystery of God the Container and say, well, where does Scripture say this, that, and all these things? And even if I quoted, let's say, Enoch or the Deuteronomical Apocrypha books, all that, you know, well, you know. So let's begin. I will show you the page and then I will read. God said, Let us make man in our Tezalem, after our Demut. God created humankind in his own Tezalem, in the Tezalem Elohim, image of God, created he him. Zachar, male, and Nikava, female, created he them. The mystery of God the container. Remember what you were taught from the previous video. Considering all that, that you've learnt, including this, and doing your own research, you'll figure this out. Sing unto Elohim, sing praises to Shmo, extol him that rideth on the clouds by Shmo Hashem, and rejoice before him. Sing unto God, sing praises to his name, extol him that rideth upon the heavens by his name Jah, and rejoice before him. Yija, Abba Eravat, Ancient of Days Adone, Yahweh, God of Yisrael, sends me in Yeshua of New Jerusalem, having Ruash HaKodesh. See that. John chapter 1 in the beginning is likened unto Genesis chapter 1 in the beginning. That revelation is as the first. The Old Testament treasure and the New Testament treasure. Alpha and Omega. The first and the last. The beginning and the end. The first will be last and the last will be first. The Ohar. The Ohar Ha'amidi. The true light which gives rational Haskala enlightenment to call Benai Adam, all mankind, was coming into the Olam Haza. <coughs> Birshish, in the beginning, was the Davar Hashem, and the Devar Hashem was Agav, along with Itzel, Hashem, and the Devar Hashem was nothing less, by nature, than Elohim. Birshish, in the beginning, this Devar Hashem was with Hashem. All things through him came to be, and without him came to be not one thing which came into being. In him was Cheim life, and the Cheim life was the Ohar light of Benai Adam. And the Ohar shines in the Choshesh, and the Choshesh did not grasp it. In the beginning, Elohim created Heshomayim, the heavens Himil, and Heretz, the earth. And the earth was Tahu Vavahu, without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Ruash Elohim was hovering upon the face of the waters. And Elohim said, Let there be light, and there was light. And Elohim saw the light, that it was Tav, good, 
and Elohim divided the Ohar light from the Choshesh darkness. And Elohim called the light Yom Day, and the darkness he called Laila night. And the Erev evening and the Bolkar morning were Yom Echad, day one, the first day. And the Ruash HaKodesh descended in Dimut Gashmit as a Yona upon Rabbi Melech HaMoshiach. And then came a bat kol at of Shomeyam, saying, Ata Benai Ahuve Asher Bacha Cha Fatstai. And the Holy Ghost descended in the form of a human bodily shape like a dove upon him. And a voice came from heaven which said, Thou art my beloved son, in thee I am well pleased. The shape of God the container is a human bodily shape, and all reality is contained inside the mind of hallowed, who is also the all. The let and the light, the amen and the word. Nor will they say, Hanai, here it is, or there it is, for Hanai, the Malchat Hashem, is within you. Neither shall they say, Lo here, or Lo there, for, behold, the kingdom of God is within you. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you, which ye have of God? and ye are not your own. And then there's another verse. But he spake of the temple of his body. The day star Venus not the fourth day, S-U-N. And we have the Devar Haniva word of prophecy, made more sure, to which you do well in giving heed as to a menorah shining in a place of Choshesh, until Hayam dawns, and the Kochav star Hanoga of brightness, Venus, rises in your Levavot hearts. Morning star, Jesus of the first day light in Genesis. And they that are Christ's have crucified the flesh with the afflictions and lusts. But the ones who are Mechabel, Moshiach, Yehoshua, have put to be a teluel al haetz hanging on the tree, the basar with its teshukot desires and its ta'avat lusts. Crucified with the Christ already, baptized with the Holy Ghost and with fire, born again. It is no longer Enoche I who lives, but Moshiach who lives in me, and the Cheyem I now live in the Basar, I live by Imana, Imana in the Ben HaElohim Moshiach, the one having Ahava agape for me and having given himself over on my behalf. I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me, and the life which I now live in the flesh I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Having the ass of this, that with Moshiach our old humanity in Adam has been put to death on Moshiach Yetz tree, the Etz Hakelelat Hashem, the tree of the curse of God, in order that the Estem Ha Adam Hashet, 
the essence of the sinful human condition might be done away with, so that we might no longer serve shat, sin. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. Jesus is Emmanuel, God with us, God crucified for us. May the day star arise in your hearts, because Hashem is the one who said, Let Ohar shine out of Choshash, who shone in our Levavot for an illumination of the Da'as, of the Kovod of Hashem in the face of Rebbe, Melech HaMoshiach Yahoshua. For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, have shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. In him Jesus was life, and the life, the word, was the light of men. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. Be not double-minded, keep thine eye single. Draw near to Hashem, and Hashem will draw near to you. Cleanse your Yadayim hands, you Shotayim sinners, and purify your Levavot, you Anashim of double mind. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. No one is able to serve two Adonim masters, for either he will have Sina hatred for the one, and Ahava love for the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve Hashem God and Mammon money. Take heed, therefore, that the light which is in thee be not darkness. If thy whole body, therefore, be full of light, having no part dark, the whole shall be full of light as when the bright shining of a candle doth give thee light. You cannot serve Jesus, the Ohar, and Lucifer, the god of this world, the body of Jesus Christ, or the body of Satan. It's one of the two choices. How art thou fallen from Shomayim, O Hillel ben Shachar, son of the morning, worshipped as the S-U-N under Venus? Lucifer, who is not the true light of the world, but Jesus is the morning star. Jesus is not Lucifer. How art thou cast down to the earth? Thou which hast laid in low the nations. Wherein times past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, Lucifer, that spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Hereafter I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world, Sar Ha'olam Haza, cometh, and hath nothing in me. Now is the Mishpat Ha'olam Haza, now the Sar Ha'olam Haza will be cast out. Now is the judgment of this world, now shall the prince of this world be cast out. And concerning Mishpat judgment, because the Sar Ha'olam has a prince of this world, has been judged. So that is it. That's all I have. Yeah. I will go over 
this one once more. Now that we have learnt applying scriptural verses from KJV and OJV, behold, If you want to learn more, I suggest you watch Mystery of God the Container. We have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, which are visible inside the container, the visible three in one, Abba Eravat, that is to say Adone, the Great I Am. And the Ten Heavens, learning this from the Enochian Scrolls, yeah. Jehovah the Let, Jesus the Light, Emmanuel the Amen. Jesus is also the Let. Internal visible three in external one. Yahweh Adonai El Shaddai. And Emmanuel is literal God with us. That, like father, like son, like son, so too, like father. The was, the is, the is to come. Yeshua, the Adam's apple of hallowed. The word is our Elohim. I have here external macrocosmic outward infinity of the, in the form of a human bodily shape as the Holy Ghost appears and also with internal microcosmic inward infinity hovering hollowed the word God crucified so when it comes on to this to explain in short God hollowed Jehovah the uh, appearance of the one with the three inside to say like the three in one he's hovering his body and there's the external infinity that expands outward macrocosmically 360 degrees in the form of a human bodily shape. So container contains reality and then when they say well what's outside container there's just that infinite space of the all that is that he contains yet not containing it in barrier but he's just there in that all that is. And he contains hovering so 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 he's hovering in the external macrocosmic outward infinity but he contains inside the microcosmic inward infinity which is the bottomless pit hell so again one more time see the word the let there be light the adam's apple of jehovah that was born yeah he was born from virgin mary and you know that's part of God there and God he's one of the father crucified look at this so considering hovering hollowed in the infinite space outside Inside Jehovah does not have an elongated head. That's from what I perceive. That when we see visible Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, they don't have elongated heads. But the one singular deity, the Ruach Elohim that we live inside, he has, uh, from what I've seen in the dream, uh, a, a elongated head of containment, hallowed, holy be thine. The word Jesus, the begotten walking Adam's apple of God. Jesus is son of God. From external to Mary internal, Jesus hath me and my father are one. So in all maturity, okay, the sperm of God that made Virgin Mary pregnant came from the external male part without sex in the autonomy of the body of God. Okay. Now, when Thomas said, uh, I will not believe unless I uh, see the prince of the nails and thrust my finger to the side, Jesus appeared before Thomas. And 
there was also the other time where Moses and Aaron appeared with Jesus. So the essence of appearing, yeah, I mean, he can take that which is of one spot and, and bring to another spot. You know? I also believe there will be a rapture. There will be a catching up. Let us create man in our image and to our likeness. God created heaven and earth. God separated light from darkness, heaven, space, sky, and then sun and moon. The Amen, the voice, also the light. Jesus is the light of the new earth. The new earth will have no need of the fourth day, S-U-N, the sun, you know, as in Genesis, uh, greater light of the day than there's lesser light of the night. The new earth will have no need of the fourth day sunlight nor the moonlight. Jesus being Venus, the true day star that we worship and should proclaim as he sat into the churches that Jesus Christ, Yeshua ben Yusuf, is the morning star. That the God of this world wanted to be the morning star, he wanted to be the day star, and they worshipped him as the fourth day light, uh, the sun that rises in the east, but we know Jesus Christ is Venus, okay? To die, to go to the Lord, rapture and the judgment with the concept of the throne at the tenth heaven of paradise, space, the sky, the earth, uh, seeing the light when you die and going to the light, the kingdom within the body temple also, Jesus appeared before Thomas and with Moses and Aaron. We are caught up to the Father. God can teleport. Inner eye with the two eyes, inner ear with the two ears, and inner dialogue, as we could also talk external. Before man, in the temple of the autonomy of the body of God, Jesus is the light in the brain of Jehovah, that when thine eye be single, thy body shall be full of light. We are created in the self-reflected image of God. The light of man within is Jesus Christ, the hollow chamber. Before our gray and white matter was, God the potter has a brain. Let there be light. Jesus knocks at the door. When thine eye be single, thy body shall be full of light. Be not double-minded. The body is the temple. The kingdom is within, so too earth. As within, so without. And they've discovered this. The hollow chamber of the container, Abba Erebat. The let and the let. The will and the intent. The amen and the word. The container and the source. The I am and the all the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, the was and the is and the is to come, the infinite macrocosm and the container of the infinite microcosm, the inward three, the outward one, before Om was, Yeshua is, before the sound of silence was, ancient of days. Lucifer wanted to break out of the container and use the method of creation formulation to make a reality around the container to try and be God 
And as a creation, he tried to contain the container creator. That's stupid. Lucifer tried to exalt himself past the tenth layer of heaven. Lucifer fell like lightning with one-third of the angels. A creation trying to contain the creator? What is this? He wanted an eleventh layer for his own. A small-scale version of Lucifer containing the container would be when Jesus was tempted forty days and forty nights. Oh. This is a depiction not of Lucifer here, but there was something that happened with, uh, well, me per se, and I don't want you guys to be paranoid, but I explain in another video, uh, what is it called? Satan defeated um, angel wings and six foot circle about my uh, little experience that I had, you know? Uh, but when it comes down to this macrocosmically outward, microcosmically inward, Outside of my six foot circle and at my six foot circle, there's a concept here, and I'm not to, I'm not going to explain you know, in fullest detail. Go check out the video. Anyhow, look, look, look. I've perceived Revelation chapter 3, verses 7 to 13. He's going to be misjudged by the world. He knows a lot of things about things that they know. And in the spirit world, he makes these uh, false gods and demons bow down, you know? And then in the spirit world, this be fulfilled. They're psychics, they're mediums, they're watchers and spies. They know, therefore, oh, seemingly soon enough, and when and if not already, they have in secret that when it comes to Big Rev 3, they bow before my feet. Satan bowed before my six-foot circle by command in the name of Jesus. Amen. As the angels say, so too will I say if any marvel. Do not marvel. And as the angels, if any bow, 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 let me try that again. I'm not doing a retake. As the angels say, so too will I say, if any marvel, do not marvel. And as the angels, if any bow down before me, I shall say, do not do that, get up. I am but a servant of Jesus, worship him. Satan bowed to me outside of my six-foot circle by command in the name of Jesus also. Amen. I'm going to read this. I have made the God of this world who tempted Jesus forty days and forty nights bow down on his knees. Through the authority and power of the will and intent of using Jesus' name by command, anywhere outside of my six-foot circle and even at my feet. I checkmated the dark king with a white pawn prior, seen his vanity, threw the chessboard at him, flipped over the table, knocked over the chairs, cut out a square where the table was in the carpet, took out the tiles, cut out the floorboards, dug a hole about six feet deep, and threw everything in there, and that was about the end of it. Amen. A prayer for Revelation chapter 3, verses 7 to 13. Abba, Father, Yeshua our Elohim, I pray in your name, Jesus, by the authority and power your highest name above all names has, to make Satan bow down to the ground on his knees. To you, to me, and to the entire body of Christ, because of this prayer. I acknowledge the rulership and King of Kings, Jesus the Christ, over all reality. When I say right now that I command Satan to bow down on his knees, anywhere he is within the reality of the All and the Word, acknowledging Abba Erevat, the Most High and God of the Tenth Heaven, hallowed also be his name, the Container. In Jesus' name, the Amen. Amen.
No matter where in and about reality Satan is, from the bottomless pit like a microcosmic fractal despansion going downward inwardly in the heart of the earth as a liquid magma and fire, also acknowledge from the deepest grain of sand and sea to the bunkers, the soil, the mountains, and all below, that from my hollow chamber in the temple of my body within, going outwardly 360 degrees macrocosmically in the form of a human bodily shape, acknowledging the first heaven where the clouds are and the fowl fly, the higher heavens where the stars are hung, and up to the throne of God where Jesus is at his right, command and have commanded Satan to bow down. In Jesus' name, amen. The God of the synagogue of Satan has been defeated. The spirit realm acknowledges. Amen. And you know what they'll say unto some people? If they said, oh, your snap wasn't loud enough there, I'd say, hey, you know what? Amen is more powerful than a snap. Ah. The snap is just a matter of expression. God, Jehovah the Father, has always won ever since the beginning. The word Jesus, the Son of God, also won on the cross and arisen on the third day. And the living Holy Ghost of God won inside baptized Revelation 3, verses 7 to 13. I am but a man who has seen angel wings on my back. I am baptized, fully submerged like the ways of John. I write as Apostle Paul and speak like King James. The day star is risen in my heart. Genus. I mean, Jesus, morning star. Because uh, I meant to say Venus, but Jesus, you know. I'm not doing a retake. I'm not doing a retake. You know how many retakes I do in these videos? I get so mad. Ooh. Now I gotta show you the page. Now I'm getting distracted. I guess I don't do all too many retakes. Do not judge by the flesh. Do not judge the albino with red eyes, nor any eye, or the color blind. Do not judge the black foot with white palm. Do not judge pale nor tanned. Do not judge acne or the man with third degree burns on his face, nor the appearance of celestial bodies. Judge not the flesh of terrestrial bodies in the potter's clay, nor the man with no face, nor the autonomy of the body of God. Judge not Jew nor Gentile,